playing country bass guitar and working as a country bassist. That's what you'll learn here with country music bass lessons. Today I have three steps to get that country music gig coming up. So if you're new to my channel and an aspiring bassist, then hit the subscribe and bell buttons to get in the loop and not miss a beat. Lots of bass tips, cover songs to know, and gear updates. And if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald with the bass instructor of the How to Play Bass online course at IWantToPlayBass.com. Jump over there, subscribe, become a free member, and get your free ebook also on setting your bass up with everything you need to know, making these adjustments, intonation, action, neck relief, all the adjustments you need to make to make this custom to you the way you like to play. So that's what you'll get there. So free from me. All right. So let's get enough of that. Let's get into it. And thanks for sticking around. So let's dive into it. So if you're wondering why country music, then just, just listen to these facts. In the last 10 years, country music has grown 54% over the towards the younger generation, the 18 and 24 year olds. More of their more of them are listening to it now, and it's just become a more diverse fan base. They've country music has come a long ways since the back in the day, but and it's still growing. So it's really fast growing. And it's, you know, I don't see no end to it. It's still growing. New con contemporary country music is a lot more, reaches a broader band of fan base now. It's almost mm -hmm. at borderlines pop, borderlines rock, it borderlines, you know, some reggae. Um, so it's it borderlines. It's taking a lot of these other genres and kind of mixing it and just intertwining it with the uh, with the country music, making it more popular. So it's definitely a growing growing genre and it's a good genre a lucrative genre to get into as playing as an aspiring bassist making working as a bassist so you definitely want to add it to your list and there's a lot of work out there to be had so jump into it and that's what you're going to get today so needless to say we there's a lot to be had in this genre so step one of how to get that country job is at the audition show them you are willing to do this because country music thrives, the bass lines thrive on this idea, and if you know that and you're showing that you are willing to do that and you're not this egotistical bassist that wants to be in the front playing bass solos and lots of busy bass lines, then you show them you can do this, that you are going to um, improve your chances, your odds of getting that job. And that is containment. Containment, stay in the pocket, lock in with that drummer, and stay just lay back just play that bass line because that's what country music has always thrived on is that bass line is just supporting that song it's all about the song and definitely in country music it is definitely about the story they're telling so the music is not as intricate as in a lot of other genres so if you can prove to them that you are that guy that will stay in that pocket and just lay down that bass line like i said nothing intricate in country music but the bass lines definitely if you can work those chord progressions and move those work that bass line and move those chord progressions smoothly and lock in with the drummer and support that song and just stay in the pocket then you are you're gonna um, you're gonna do good definitely so definitely remember that you don't want to be that busy bassist you're not here to prove anything you're here to get the work and do your job and that's what they want they want somebody that's gonna be that need to do that work and do that job and as a country basis country of all genres really relies on the basis staying in that pocket laying down that groove so that's step number one and that's the biggest one containment restraint definitely contain yourself from going outside of that box that pocket you know just stay in there and just lay it down support that song hear the band as a whole and that's what that's going to get you the job for sure now step two is know your part. I jumped in step one, had a little bit of that, but you got to know your part. And one way to do that is research who you're auditioning for, follow them a little bit, check out how they're performing these songs, seeing how they're doing them, and learn them like they, they are. If you have, if the time allows, definitely learn the songs like they do. You know, they're, everybody puts their own little spin on it. You know, it's um, just little tweaks here and there, maybe different keys and stuff like that. So, you know, learn how they're doing it and help yourself out for sure and subscribe to my channel here I've got lots of country music bass lessons and videos there that you can learn that will help you know your part as a country bassist you want to know that also what makes up a country bass line and and how to 
incorporate that into your country country music so you definitely want to hit I'll leave a link up here a card up here to check out there's some country music based lessons that I have out there that will help you also so there's lots of them there so definitely subscribe get that bell notification I'm putting new ones out all the time so definitely know your part know what country bass lines are made of and how they work and then know the the group that you're auditioning for and what they're doing or whatever situation you're you're auditioning for what you're going after know that before you walk into there if it enables you to do that then definitely learn it and you know be successful when you go in there if you don't if you're not allowed to do that then definitely learn some country music songs I've got lots of covers here learn those and go in there know at least eight songs before you go into it so some of the eight standard country songs know know those so in case they ask you to play something you can play along with them and hopefully one of those eight you'll know if you can learn more then learn more because um, yeah they're definitely gonna they want to see how you can play and if you can contain yourself and restraint for the bass lines and you know your part so that's something you need to do is know your part research what's going on and study what you're doing you know look them up follow them a little bit and and check it out and that'll help you you know be ready be prepared for that audition sometimes you're not allowed that you know maybe they'll just put out some sheet music or something usually in a country music music auditions it's not going to be reading sheet music or anything it could be I mean if you're going for a session session job then yeah it could be and hopefully it is it'll at least give you something to work with so that's a big thing jump over to I want to play bass.com I go over oversight rating and everything else so you definitely want to jump over there for aspiring basses that's what you want to go to get somebody in your corner to help take that journey with you and give you some guidance that's been there and done that so definitely do that but let's back to it we've got step number three is going to be now this one is just a good life lesson in general just <clears throat> just be this way in life about everything you come up to every obstacle you come to be this way and you can you'll overcome it immediately and effectively and you'll just find ways to work around that and work with it and make it work and that's being open-minded you've got to be open-minded especially in in any any music any music gigs you go for any people you're coming across you're playing with new guys and this and that then you you need to be open-minded to the way they're doing it and definitely if you're stepping into a new band that's established and they're you know they're out playing and you're stepping in that position you definitely need to be open-minded to the way they're doing things you can come in there and you know this song they're not playing it in this key then that's you're gonna have to change that you're gonna have to go with the flow and that's the only way to do that is be open-minded about every situation that you come across in there now you can't control other people you can control what you can control and that's you so being open-minded about that is going to help you deal with that a lot better I mean you come in there and the singers the singers bringing you all all the work then if he wants to do something a certain way you need to go with it and everything will work out in the long run if you're not getting along with a drummer um, because just for whatever reasons he's just you know wanting you to go back or hard to lock in with them just just stay open-minded about it work with it and that will all come to a head eventually so you know that's just something especially like I say you've got like I said in the beginning egotistical ego's got to be left outside leave your ego out there and hopefully everybody else has it. if they didn't then you got to be open-minded to that and just work with it you gotta work with it. it's not easy going into this you know you get a lot of people that are <clears throat> you know music is a tough business to get into and hopefully being open-minded and willing be the four ables that people will see that then they'll you'll, you'll be a lot more easy to work with you so the four ables are going to be coachable teachable knowledgeable and workable so those four ables you'll be able to I say able enough here but yeah you'll be it'll definitely help you get the gigs and people will want to work with you for sure with when you've got those skill sets down so work on those open-minded um, knowing your part and restraint those are just as a basis in general not just country music basis but country music is definitely solid on the baselines restraint the containment staying in that pocket is critical it's not a you know it's not very few bass solos in there they're out there the contemporary country music has a lot more um, opportunities for 
some serious bass lines and that's what's so great about it but nail the basics first the fundamentals of country music and then grow on that but definitely get you a solid foundation and grow on that so hopefully you got some value out of this if you did help me help you and hit that like button and leave me a comment if there's something you want to know if there's something you want to know about my course anything leave me a comment i love the interaction and i will catch you all in the next video on the flip-flop so bye now mm -hmm.